Suricata is high performance, open source, network analysis, and threat detection software used around the globe. Suricata not only produces high fidelity network alert, but also a wide variety of other critical network protocol, file transaction, and flow data, all in an industry standard JSON format for easy ingestion into many popular SIMs. But how do we get from here to here? In this video, we'll explore installing Suricata in Ubuntu in a few simple commands using the OISF Maintained Personal Package Archive, or PPA. Using the OISF Maintained PPA ensures you get the latest stable version of Suricata. Otherwise, you may end up on an older release. These instructions will work for the desktop or server versions, so whether you're just learning or ready to roll in production, this is where to start. Before we get started, please take a moment and hit that like and subscribe button. Comments are open as well, so let us know what you think of this video. Also, consider joining our community over at forum.suricata.io. Here you'll find answers to many common questions around Suricata, as well as a place to engage the community and post your own questions. Let's get started. This video is going to focus on the easiest path to installation. There are a couple of options, such as building from source or even looking at the advanced installation. But the quickest route is to use the binary packages. For this demonstration, we're going to install the latest stable version of Suricata in Ubuntu. So we're going to basically follow the steps that you see here outlined in the instructions. Before we get too far though, I did want to show you that the default version that will be installed in Ubuntu is older than the stable version that we're going to get from the OISF maintained PPA. As you can see here, as of the time of this recording, that's version 6.0.4. And the latest stable version of Suricata is on 7. Going back to our installation steps, we have three commands that we have to execute before we can install Suricata. The first is to install software prerequisites. The second will then add the OISF maintained PPA. And then the third will just update the package references. Running these commands and installing Suricata will require root privileges. So make sure you have that password available. And of course, that level of access to the system you want to install Suricata on. Now we're ready to add the repository. You can read information about what this will provide, but the key takeaway here is that we hit enter to continue. The last command is apt update, which gets the latest versions of the packages from the software repository. Now that we've prepared the system, we're ready to install Suricata with our last command. The installation should go pretty quickly. Once you're back to a responsive terminal, you can run the Suricata command with the dash V argument. This will give you the version of Suricata that you just installed. And as you can see here, this is version 7.0.3. Once Suricata is installed, you won't see it start to capture any traffic until you've done just a little bit of configuration. Now, keep in mind, this is the bare minimum. Using the command IPA, you can list your network interfaces. On this system, the main network interface is called ENS33. By default, Suricata's configuration file will be found at etsy suricata suricata.yaml. You can edit this as the root user with your favorite text editor. To start capturing on that interface, we need to update the configuration section under AF Packet Interface. By default, you'll see that it's ETH0. So if that's the name of your interface, you have nothing left to do. But our interface name was different. So we'll change it to match the name of our primary network interface on the host. We can now save this file and then use systemctl to either start or restart the Suricata service. Once you've started or restarted, I always check the status to make sure that it's active and running. When making changes to the configuration file, it's really easy to add a typo, which would then stop Suricata from starting. Once Suricata is running, you'll find log information at var log suricata eve.json. Keep in mind that Suricata can capture live network traffic as well as ingest PCAPs. This video just helped you to get Suricata installed, but what do you do next? Well, stay tuned on this channel because we have a lot more content coming that will help you move into updating rules, configuring Suricata, production deployment considerations, and a lot of other great topics to help maximize your Suricata usage.